All right, this your brother Aisha Yara coming at you with another lesson. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, and Kapodash. Double honors to the apostles of the great millstones I learned his truth from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing his word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Aqua that's listening and learning. Today's video is going to be entitled The Usher and Alicia Keys Controversy. <laughs> all right, the Usher. And Alicia Keys controversy. Now I got inspired to do this lesson just for the simple fact of the performance that happened at the Super Bowl this past Sunday. Uh, pretty much there's been memes and all kind of news articles coming out about the performance between Usher and Alicia Keys. And pretty much the thing that happened was, you know, both of them got on stage to perform uh, that song Boo. And, uh, <laughs> You know, Alicia Keys came out with this, she came out with the outfit, you know? <laughs> she came out looking like a, a woman, <laughs> all right? And uh, Usher, he noticed. So, you know, they started performing and everything, but the thing is, he started getting to the point where he he getting behind her and hugging her close. He um touching her, her ass and everything like that, man, and they dancing close or whatever. And the thing is, a lot of people look at that as, Oh, it's just a, a performance. They're not doing anything wrong. They're just putting on a show. No, nah, man, that, that's some bullshit, all right? That's some bullshit. And the thing is, Usher is known for adultery, okay? He's known for it. He literally has an album called Confessions of him, you know, doing dirt or whatever and everything. You know, it is what it is. But... And there's a lot of videos coming out with him with these performances when he's performing with these females and he's getting all close to them, feeling on them and all kind of shit, man. All right. And the thing is that makes it so controversial is because Alicia Keys is married. All right. She's with Swiss Beats. All right. Swiss Beats is supposed to be the only man touching her, period. All right. But we already know how the industry get down and it's not just the industry. We already know how this world gets down as far as America, AKA Babylon the Great. Adultery is heavy here, okay? And the thing is, you know, Swiss Beast came out of nowhere and he was pretty much defending the situation like, no, it's okay, you know, these are two mega stars on stage shutting it down, all right? So he's a big ass simp, he don't care, all right? Because his, his woman is getting money. And at the end of the day, both of them are in the industry. He already know that Alicia Keys is getting passed around with many more, with way more many men than than Usher, man. Because that's how they got a. Uh, that's one of the ways that they gain their success. And that's why the scriptures say, "What profit is you if you, uh, you know, sell your soul?" Roughly paraphrasing, the scriptures tell you, "Hey, you sell your soul, you're not gonna get nothing for it." Only thing you're gonna get in return is demons and ultimately destruction, man, because you're sinning against Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. That's going against the scriptures, man. And it tells you that in the book of Sirach, the ninth chapter. When you read Sirach, the ninth chapter, it tells you don't drink wine with another man's woman, don't be in the arms of another man's woman, don't sit with her. Shit, damn near don't even talk to her. All right? But well, the thing is, this world pushes adultery. And Yahweh Shah warned us about these days. Of course, adultery is nothing new. All right, this has been going on since the beginning of time. But the thing is, it's pushed very heavy in these days. And that's why you have a thing where people talking about they got side chicks or side dudes. They got a thing called dating, as we all know. But the thing is, Dating is supposed to be as serious as marriage because when you date somebody, they tell you, you know, you're not supposed to cheat, you're not supposed to flirt, you're not supposed to do these different things. You're supposed to be loyal until you get married. But the thing is, <laughs> when you get married, they tell you, oh, okay, you're off the market now. Now you're officially off the mar market. You can't flirt, you can't do these different things. So it's confusion. Which one is it? They tell when you get married, you're supposed to stay with this one person. You can't flirt. You can't cheat. All right. And then they tell you that you off the market. But when you dating somebody, they want the same rules to apply. 
but they tell you, okay, you just dating, so you could be with this one person for a certain amount of time, or you be with multiple people at the same time because you're dating. You're filling out the, the uh, choices that you have. That's adultery, man. The scriptures tell you that a woman is only, is only supposed to be with one man her whole life. Her whole life. All right? That's it. And a man could be with as many women as he want. And that's the controversy that comes with this truth. But we already know Isaiah 4 and 1 is getting ready to come to pass during Jacob's trouble. And that's when everybody's going to realize, you know what? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Because these women are going to want to be with somebody who's going to be able to, to protect them within these last days. All right? But ultimately, you know, Usher, he's going to be destroyed. Because he is an, an adulterous uh, nigga. Whoever, you know, he looks at it, he looks at her as attractive and whatever the case may be, he doesn't care. He'll go ahead and, and fill up on your girl and do all kind of things, man. That's why he got all those songs talking about making love in a club and uh, the Yeah song and, you know, all kind of shit, man. But that's pushing the industry. And a lot of people are being drunk from this wicked ass wine that Esau was pushing. All right? Because they're listening to these music videos, you know, they're looking at movies, they're looking at the things that's posted on social media, and a lot of people look at this shit as a thing of, oh, this is okay. It's okay to have side dudes and everything like that. It's all right, because I'm not married. I can do whatever I want. I'm a free, independent woman. And then dudes be like, man, it don't, it don't matter. If he's not taking care of her the way that she should, then I'ma go in and be the hero. <laughs> and that's the same shit that the real nigga, quote unquote, Cat Williams was uh, speaking about in one of his stand-ups. Talking about, oh man, you ain't, uh, excuse my language, but he said you ain't fucking your girl right. So now it takes a real nigga to come all the way to Chicago to get your girl and hit it right just so she can wake up with a smile and you don't give us no thanks. That's some bullshit, man. And females be looking forward to that. They be like, okay, well, he ain't satisfying me, so let me go find something else. But the thing is, they won't break it off with the dude that they're currently with. They want to keep him, but still go get something else. A dude would, a, the dude would know that she's with somebody, but he doesn't care. He's okay with being a home wrecker. And the scriptures tell you that if you commit adultery, you automatically supposed to die. Stone to death, man. Automatically supposed to die. All right? And that's one of the things that, that's not pushed here. And that's why people do it so often. But the most I said, he's gonna, uh, he has spirits created for vengeance. There's a lot of dudes out here that's realizing that these females ain't shit. And a lot of these dudes are killing them. That's the real reality, all right? That's the trill shit that's going on. The most High is putting the spirit upon a lot of these dudes out here to take these women off of the earth. And it's gonna be the same way with the men soon. All right? Most High gonna set something up and you gonna start hearing stories. With these adulterous dudes that's out here, you gonna start hearing stories with them dying. Because the most High ain't for that, man. It ain't gonna be a such thing as female friends in the kingdom, man. Here it is, the most I said, you can have multiple wives. You can have as many women as you want, but for some reason, you still gotta go get a woman that belongs to somebody else. Yeah, you worthy of death, man. All right? So it is what it is. So that's why, you know, Yahweh Shah warned us about this generation, and this is one of the signs to let us know we in the last days, because this vibration is pushed very heavy, man. And a lot of people are following suit. And this is why Yahweh Shai is getting ready to bring that judgment along with the angels, man, under the order of Yahweh. It's getting ready to go down, man. This type of lifestyle is getting ready to end. All right? So this is why we got to stay strong and make sure we don't get under that wicked-ass vibration, man. Fuck all that. You know, get your own woman, man. Be a real man and just get your own woman. Point blank, period. 
So I'm gonna end it with that, man. I hope this is edifying. So with that, I'm gonna say, call Halayim Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakak Badash. Double honors to the apostles of the great millstone, which I learned his truth from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing his word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And shalom to the aqua that's listening and learning. And Yahweh Ratzazah, I'll be back with another lesson. Keep pushing, Yasharala. Keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom.